Hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. Happy to be with you. Hope you're all doing super well. Um, we're back. I'm back. You're back. It's a good thing. Today, we're on the reggae vibes. Ooh, what a good vibe. I'm really excited about doing some reggae stuff. Really... Um, high up on the list of my favorite genres for sure. Love the groove, love everything about it, honestly. <laughs> I feel like any genre, there's some garbage in there, but when it's good, it's good. We're gonna try to be good today. I don't know, I'm, I'm not actually like made this stuff before, but I think I can do it. Welcome Steve, sweetie, DJ Vivaldi, Ian, yo. We're gonna get into it. This is Discord, weekly challenge number 21, reggae. Getting the Jamaican reggae vibes down. I'm going to try to do maybe a couple different reggae grooves. We'll see if we have time. I've had some ambitious plans. Those plans are probably not going to work out, but we're going to do something. And it's going to be groovy. It's going to be slow. It's going to have offbeat hits in it. I know that much. So let's do it. <laughs> it's okay, Patrick. Welcome. You can send it in slightly late and I still receive it. It's just so you know. Okay. Hey, Nick. Here we are. So. David, hey. So, um, I wanted to... I'm doing really good, David. How are you doing? I wanted to... My plan was to have two parts to this beat. Maybe we'll even get there today, I don't know. But the idea was to have a acoustic sort of like traditional reggae vibe for a while and then do some transition into like the modern not modern I don't know what you would call it the electronic EDM almost reggae vibe which I also really like I don't know if I'm going to have um, time to do both today I only had time to make one drum kit I mean I had all week to do it I could have <laughs> could have done it any time but I didn't I made it this morning <laughs> in the last hour my drum kit sounds good, though. Maybe I can use it for both. Let's see. <laughs> Thomas, yo. <laughs> no on beat hits. <clears throat> Matthias, hey, double. Yo, stranger. David, that's fine. You can definitely ask as many questions in the Discord as you like. That's, that's the way to do it. Just keep working on stuff. Keep sharing stuff. That's the way. Yanto, hey, welcome. Are you new, Yanto? I don't know that we've met before. Tomas, hey, I've got the whole gang. Ted, hello, hello. Did you guys all submit your tracks? <laughs> Are they sick? We'll see. Uh, okay, so what I've got prepared is basically nothing. I, I've got a drum kit prepared, which is honestly the thing that takes the most amount of time. So what I did for this just so we're all up to speed. I'm, I'm using stock instruments, you know, with these challenges. And I decided to use this acoustic kit, multi-layer, which is like a multi-sampled acoustic kit. <laughs> if you couldn't tell from the name of the kit. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm processing it in, in a variety of ways. I'm sending each element out to its own... Um, Output, of course, the kick, the snare, hats, toms, cymbals, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm processing those in a variety of ways. Might be of interest to you. I'll put down a beat first, and then we'll talk about it. New subscriber here. Been watching your stream about a month. Oh, that's great, Yanto. Good to have you here. Thanks for um, saying hello. <laughs> Reggae Groove Gang. Good Vibe Gang. Ooh, the Good Vibe Gang. Damn. Hmm. <laughs> acoustic okay so I'm at 73 BPM right now that was kind of the vibe I was going for with the more traditional reggae sound that tempo sounds like this mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's one the other vibe that I was well, hopefully going to get to today is faster, and it's like... Um... That 
that sort of thing. And I'm going to see if we can merge the two together. I'm going to start the first one swung, swing rhythms, and the second one straight. <clears throat> Frio, hello. Carmela, hey. Dimmy, yo. Didn't play. What didn't play? Oh, no sound from Studio One. Hey, you guys are just watching me bob my head. <laughs> now it'll play. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's get a basic groove down. Ooh, that's interesting to play. Let's give it a shot. I gotta do the hi-hat afterwards. I can't do them both at the same time. Sorry. Oh my God, Max. You got it. Something to that effect. So I'm basically gonna max out the volume on everything. It's in my name, man. <laughs> Shamkra, hey. Okay, so um, just a little, a little something rather on this stuff here. So the kick is. Um, originally sounding like ooh, this. Yep. Then it's being compressed. It's being EQ'd. It's got a reverb on it. Just to give a bit more substance to it. So the reverb is very short. It's minus 4.46 seconds, whatever that means. <laughs> and the whole kit's being run through a kind of channel, a bus channel with some processing, a compressor, saturator, a limiter. So. audio at the same time. Sick. Hey, okay, let's try it again. So this is kind of the vibe we're going to go for. Um, it's this like Swung, slow-ish, swing at 85%, maybe. So let's just get a perfect little pattern. A perfect little pattern. So my pattern is going to be like, I don't know, call it 80% velocity on the first hit, then low, then fully heavy on the offbeat hit, and then low again. That sort of deal. I don't even need all these. Get out of here. And then we'll just make some some alterations with a humanize. And let's allow maybe a 15-ish percent velocity difference. Okay, that was too much velocity difference. <laughs> By 15, I meant five. Yeah, 
I love this island groove. Me too, man. It's the best. All right, so I just want to fine tune a bit. I want to be feeling lazy. So here's without the bus processing, more of the dry kit. Sounds pretty good actually like this, kind of poppier, but then. Ugh. Fatter. By the way, if anyone's new to the stream, please say hello. We'd like to chat with you. I'd like to chat with you. I don't know about the other people here, but I assume they would too. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just going to pump up the volume a little bit here. Pump up the volume. How's the balance between my voice and the music? Can you hear me all right? Can you hear the music all right? Hmm. Okay, so um, my plan People need that vocal chop in there. Well, we're going to get the vocal chops, I think. Uh, the plan is to have an intro section that I'm not going to make just yet that is not going to be in the reggae groove, right? It's going to be um, spacious, totally different vibe so that we can contrast it with this. When we come into this, it's going to feel much better. So we're going to do that, that afterwards. So we're going to have that intro vibe. We're going to do, I hope, some kind of with that awesome snare drum sound. I don't know if we can find one of those in here and then drop into this traditional beat. And then at some point it's going to, and then we're going to get into like a, I don't know, either a tempo change build up thing. I don't know what it's going to be. And we're going to try to get into the higher tempo stuff. So for now, I'm thinking I have two guitarists in my band. I've got my guitar here today. Um, I've got a bassist. I don't have my bass here today, unfortunately. And I've got uh, an organ player, maybe a piano player too. We'll see. Your favorite part of making music is automation. Wow. That's great. It's not my favorite part of mu making music, that's for sure. But I'm stoked that for somebody it is. It's like people with mixing, right? Some people just love mixing. And I think like, man, I mix only because I have to. If I didn't have to mix, if I could get an AI to mix my songs perfectly, the way that I like it, absolutely. Sign me up day one. Get at me, developers. Let's make it happen, please. Okay, so let's get down some temporary chords here. I'm going to play with, um, with an organ first, I think. Let's see what we can get. Organ. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Vintage version, ooh, yeah, let's actually just take that. Does this let me change like the release sound, I wonder? Perk. No. That release sound is pretty clicky, maybe too clicky, but. Okay, so we need a quick little verb here just to make it more interesting to listen to. So I've used a bunch of verbs already. Let's get this one involved. So you are verb three. 
Hey. Gigantic. Okay, so. Maybe something like that. For now. Let's turn. Okay. So, um, a key for today, please. A minor key. Don't make me play in a major key. I was actually thinking about it, but. <laughs> Neil says, my favorite part is trying is trying new things out. The buzz you get when something works is great. Ooh, that's the best part, man. The initial designing of a new track and then you get something that works and you're like, okay, this is it. <clears throat> I love that. F, that's not a minor key. I play an F minor constantly. I think on this channel, like every every song I make is an F minor. Let's play in a different one. Something. How about um, E flat minor? Okay, let's do that. F in the chat. <laughs> okay, so this organ's hella loud right now. Hey. Okay, so I'm thinking um, chord progression wise. Starting on the four chord, um, four one, four one, four one five, or something like that. Can I describe reggae? What's its essence, and how do you make it? Good question. Um, I mean, there's a few things, of course, that are just set in stone. Not set in stone. It definitely changes. In, but like, if we want to say the the cliche reggae vibe, obviously, is slow tempos, offbeat hits, um, swung or straight, big bass lines that move in ways that don't move in normal um, music, as in like, you might have, a lot of times bass lines will start on, not on the one. So if you have like, you might have, Right, so it starts like midway through or on the on the end of a thing. Thank you, Nick, for telling me about Chord Watch. We got it now. And um, you, it's not jazzy most of the time, that's for sure. Everything's straight triads. Um, yeah, maybe occasionally, but I rarely hear it harmonically. There's a lot of interesting drum things that go on, man. We're going to try to do some stuff today. We'll see if we can make it happen. So let's give it as a shot here. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's 
Try that again. It's all about the vibe, bro. That's it. Okay, it's decent. I had some early ugly little doohickeys in there. We'll just fix those up. How was the experience for you guys making this stuff? Was it easy? Was it new to you? Do you listen to reggae at all? I can imagine if, you've, if you're not a reggae fan at all, it might be like a lot to learn at once, which is the point of the challenge. Oh God. I've been a reggae fan for many, many years, so I might have a bit of a head start on that, but I'm definitely not Jamaican, so. Not even Hawaiian. Not even Californian, man. Too, too late. It's not swag late, that's just late. Okay, and we're just gonna... <laughs> Dusty. <laughs> Yeah, I agree, Thomas. Okay, so I think I'm satisfied. Um, okay, so this is going to be organ. And then maybe let's just get, let's just loop this and then we'll get the um, Git box involved just temporarily here. We might have to re-record this after, but we'll get something. So I'm gonna probably try to play a slightly different voicing of the chords. So that voicing had the root of the four chord in the top line soprano. So I'm in E flat. So A flat was the first chord, and this was the voicing I was playing. And maybe we can just put that reverb on here for a second. It might get a spring. Do we have a spring reverb in Studio One? Someone know that? Do we have a spring reverb? So I don't want to use that voicing. I could use a higher voicing um, or a lower voicing. Hmm, could use a higher voicing or a lower voicing. Can you believe it? Mm, with this new camera setup, how are you gonna see my guitar? You can't, you can't, you can't. It's here though, it's real. Play like this. <laughs> I gotta figure that out. I gotta get my second camera set up so I can just, just have the guitar view. Except my room is like literally the messiest, most disastrous that my studio has ever been, probably. I've done nothing since I've unpacked my computer. It's just, except throw shit on the floor everywhere. So I'm not sure if I'm willing to show you that right now. Um, all right. At stand. <laughs> yeah, if I had a strap, if I had a strap, I could just stand, hey? Eh? Uh, okay, so. <laughs> This. this is but Skelly looking fly, hell yeah. Could maybe approximate a spring reverb if you send a verb into a delay or something. Good call on that one, Ian, okay. I'm so tended to have the constant, but they don't really have that actually a lot. Thank you. 
like that. Okay, and then we'll just pull a couple of these, um, a couple of these into place. I don't really mind it as it is, but there's a few that could be improved. I could play this a million times, but we're not going to. This guy. This guy. This guy. This guy. The snare is gross. Mr. E, what is up with you? <laughs> the snare's banging. Though. So we'll stick with the um, guitar like this for now. We'll just do a quick compress job. Well, the snare is super compressed, no doubt about it. It definitely doesn't sound like a um, natural tone, so to speak. But you know, of course, bro. I know, superior drummer. I don't. <laughs> I'm using stock plugins today, as you know. I use addictive drums, though. Addictive drums is what I use for all my acoustic drum needs when I'm not in challenge mode. So this is guitar one. Having real drums is always going to be more realistic than having uh, software drums, but you can get incredibly realistic stuff when you use high-end um, thingies, VSTs. I have a whole series on it. Well, a whole series. I have two videos on it. I don't know if you've seen them. If you check the channel, Programming Realistic Drums, I've got a thing about it. EQ 
cue this reverb a little bit. Oh my god. I, rec I mean, I recommend Addictive Drums, but they're all awesome. Um, there's a lot of really good ones out there. I just really love... Addictive Drums has a perfect blend for me of customizability and ease of use. God, I'm sorry about that. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Okay, for the bass, should I use a sampled bass or should I um, use a synth bass? What do you think? I'm open to either option. synth in it. <laughs> you know the bass vibrating patch? I don't know what you mean. You're talking about synth? You're talking about Reese basses? <laughs> So we're going to start it real low. We're going to control the cutoff with the thingy. Q, hey, welcome. Like this. It's a famous patch you hear mainly in liquid drum bass. Well, I know what a Reese bass is, but what are you talking about? The uh, the bass vibrating patch. Is that what it's called? Bass vibrating? Or are you just describing it? <laughs> yeah, it's actually Reese. Is it Reese? I want to. Isn't it spelled R E E S E? I can't remember. Doesn't matter. But yep, I know those guys. Okay, so baseline time. Now think here for a sec.
Let's try a couple different options. Let's just put this one down first and then we'll see. Let's try another option now. Yeah, we're going to work on the bass tone in a minute. Welcome, but I love fretless basses, man. Ooh, man. Could get some tone out of there, I wonder. For either, it's just for it's just for the challenge. your guitar with an octave pedal for the bass. Nice. This YouTube is not my profession, uh, but music is my profession, you could say. So yes, I do music all day, every day. Thank you. 
So which line do we like better? I'm gonna work on them, but there's that one and there's this one that hits on the one. So let's just work on this guy a minute. check here. The click on my kick is pretty gross, but
What do you think? Uh, there's a lot of things that the second guitar can do. The Sen 650 can remove the harshness of the highs that I hear from my end. <laughs> They're super smooth. You're totally right about that. Where do you hear harshness? In the hats? In the guitar? We're not into our harshness taming mode yet, but we're going to get there. It's not a micro delay, it's a uh, poor quality reverb hearing the individual echoes. <laughs> Literally, that's what that is. I can probably accentuate it if I turn this off. Actually, that almost sounds smoother. <laughs> Sometimes the guitar will double the... Um, the bass. Oh, I mean, you can play it backwards. That's kind of cool, too. Let's try them both. interferes with the other stuff I've got. Maybe if I take off the 16ths on the organ, it might work. Let's see. Actually, I think I prefer this. This is pretty cool.
close. <laughs> we'll see, maybe. Um, okay, let's give it a shot. We'll see, Mr. E, I'll give it a shot. Um, bit late to party. Hey, Robin, welcome. <laughs> let's give this a try.
Okay, so it's okay. But um, let's just see here. Maybe if it's low enough in the mix, my rhythmic imperfections will be hidden. some guy in here that's really wonky. Can we get you up to that A5 swing? Let's see, where are you at, Mr. Wonk? This guy. Yep. Yeah, I can flex time that. I'm just trying to do it as little as possible. We got three guitarists in our band. So what? Lots of people play guitar, right? This bass is just not fat enough, man. timing, but we're going to leave it. This kick could be fatter too, eh? What do you think? Should just like boost it? Yeah, probably. Let's boost it after the drum bust though, so I don't, well, let's try it here first and just see.
Okay. Happy. Don't like the way this kick sounds, but. Maybe we can just EQ it actually. Worry about it later. A percussion track, that's a great idea. Let's just see if we can grab a quick looper. Um, let's see, maybe let's go for where my tag's at. Here we go. Percussion. Sick. Yeah, I'm a timpani loop. <laughs> and these are all at such fast tempos. Geox, yo, welcome. How are you? We haven't met before. Bongos, rim shots, record Skelly as a percussion loop. That is probably the answer, bro. Yo, good idea. Good idea. At least Skelly could be like a snare topper, a snare layer. You'd start with a shaker, yeah, but you know, when you have a skeleton on your piano, you just have to make use of it. So. Mr. E, you should enter the challenges, by the way. You got a lot of ideas, hey? Been watching your previous vids. Oh, great. Right? right. Like that's, that's actually, actually going to work. work. Yeah, yeah, Mr. E, this, this challenge comes from, from my Discord, Discord server. Um... We do a weekly challenge every week. So this production challenge this week is reggae, as you can tell. X-Gun, yo. So I'm just gonna just do a bunch of rattles and we'll just see um, where we're at. Why is this coming in so hot? Do, do, do. It's got a limiter on it or something. What is this? One sec. Now that we're not afraid of Skelly yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm stoked to get Skelly into the mixes. So, yeah. Oh, because this is 
set to be my normal mic. That's why. Okay. Have your tracks tracks set right correctly. That would be a good idea. Let's bring this back up. Okay, Matthias. Great to have you here. <laughs> 20 degrees Celsius at 8 p.m. Yo. Okay. All right. This should do. So, oopsie, say hello to Skelly, please. Skelly is a Mexican skeleton. It's been dead a long time. So let's just record a bunch of stuff and then we'll just chop it up and see what we can do. Need more gain. Moonlight, hey, welcome. Says <laughs> skeleton ASMR. So here's what we're gonna do. Skelly should be in every challenge, yeah. We're gonna have, um, let's make, let's duplicate this track and duplicate this track. We're gonna say Skelly snare left and skelly snare right. So we're gonna grab, oopsie, we're gonna grab this. Let's turn the grid off for a second. So we'll grab this and we're gonna grab this. This'll be here, this'll be here. Bring them back onto a snare. Then we're gonna try something here. Skelly Bones Challenge, where we can only use sounds made by him. Yes, please. So let's just um, put these guys both into a bus. This is Skelly Snare. And quickly... Let's put Skelly on every second snare, perhaps, and oh, we need the grid on now. Kind of like this, maybe. And I'll put a big verb on Skelly. Um, 
Maybe we'll just do a verb right in line on his channel. Ooh, that was pretty sick already, hey? Time signature is 4-4. Four, four. Can you believe it? <laughs> you saw the cat, I got a subscriber. Woo! I don't ever see the cat, I'm not looking at my <laughs> feed. Is that what you're talking about? When you press D for duplicate, is there a way to adjust where the event duplicates? Like how many bars? Is that based on the grid? It's based on... It's based on the grid plus where in the bar you are. I don't even know how to quantify exactly how it works. Like if I just duplicate these guys, they're going to go to the next beat. What if we change this? Because I'm on 16, so I mean if I go to like bars. Is it going to do anything? Nope. So it's just, I wonder how it's deciding. It's obviously picking some kind of grid. And then, you know, this is going to get too intricate here, but Let's do like this this time, and like this, and like this time you're quieter, and then copy you over. Yeah, so I don't have a good answer for how it does that. I get annoyed by it pretty often. action. How about that? It's my, my shaker. shaker. Kelly got breath. <laughs> Good question. So now what we're going to do is duplicate this track. Since I recorded it over four bars, we can just grab this and put this one here. Oops. 
like this, and then grab this one and put it here, group them up. Get this guy over here, get this guy over here. Get a bus for them. Uh, shakers, so this is shaker left and shaker right. And then this will have my little room ambience on it from ambience. Can't even hear the drum ambience right now. Cut these last ones out. Maybe some high-end roll-off would be good. There's no found sounds challenge. And let's cut off this last thingy here. Should be for sure, it's a great idea. Okay, so just about done with this here. Black and Swedish Progressive Death Metal Challenge. I would actually be into that. I could do that. It'd be fun. So, we're going to have a little bit of an intro here.
Why does this sound so weird? Oh, because I took my guitar out. <laughs> That'll do it. I need more inputs. Try something like this for now. sure what I'm looking for here. that song sound like <laughs> you was cold as ice Let's try something like that. Oops. Just to get it going. And then I uh, will just let's put this here for now and we'll say drums will be For a second, do I ever use the arranger track? I do, um, but honestly, just for organization, I don't use it so much to like move stuff around because I'm just old school. Oh, 
Oh my god, these things are so loud. I'm sorry about that. I can... I can turn them way down. So let's use the ride. And then let's filter the ride heavily. Where's my playing again? Maybe we need a different sound, not the organ. Let's play on the organ first, first though. Get the sevens involved or no? <laughs> this thing's just too sustaining. We need like a, we need like a, one of these. effect. The rotor. Hey, okay, C Del. Good idea. Okay. Recording over myself. Should have been like this. Let's 
isn't quite what I'm looking for yet, but it's okay. this base be velocity sensitive yep and then we'll just put some subtle hits maybe up an octave like this Okay, and then what do you call that drum? Uh, the, hey, another cat. Mr. Mr. Terry, thanks for the subscription. Welcome if you're here. Um, so the, what do they call that thing? That it's not a steel drum, it's a something, that reggae drum. I wonder if they've got a loop in here that or a uh, one shot that I can use. Progressive rock intro, yeah. So I'm just trying to contrast the offbeat stuff. So let's take a, a hi-hat pedal on the downbeats. Timbali. No, it's not a steel drum. Steel drum is that like, I don't know. How can I make up my mouth? Pwang, pwang. <laughs> Sounds like Caribbean stuff. Pwang. Um, not a vibroslap. Vibroslap. <laughs> uh, but uh, this is, you think it's a timbali. Do we have a timbali in here? No. All right. Hey, like that. That's all we got. Damn. Okay, well, we'll try it. Okay, so. Um, can we get a fill? so fast. That's actually getting close to what we want, right? Okay, this will probably do. So if we grab this guy here, Let's solo him for a sec. You can go to the drum bus and we're gonna um, pro EQ you. I know I'm, oops, that's not allowed. No fabbies. I'm running out of time, so I'm gonna try to go really fast now. We're going to sharply cut this like this. Do something like that. Let's get it in place first though. So. Let's get 
you actually on beat? How about, hey? Okay, this stuff needs to be muted. Oh, Steve, thank you so much. Appreciate that. Thanks. Okay, that's going to work. And then... A little bit like not time stretching properly or hmm. and then this is going to go here. Go to the drum bus. Can we pitch you up just a little bit? Yep. And then we put like a huge reverb on you. What do we got? Nope. Nope. Need another cat for donations. Yeah. Uh, what's this called? Open air. Let's go for a big plate, large plate. Smooth plate. The gi gigantic pre-delay. Okay. Really bright. Leave it for now. Um, Base needs to cut off. That's actually a great idea, Ian. This guy can be panned. This EQ is gonna have its thingamajig move over time. Like that. Um, but move better, probably. Okay, let's just try to brute force it in now and see what happens. Oopsie. I should probably just arrange or track this thing, hey? Need, yeah, it's not quite there, but. This guitar, let's automate the, the Jamaican accent, yeah, we'll get that. Let's 
make these kicks a bit softer. The BS is great on the bows, it's great. So I need a phrase. Um, yeah, yeah, boy, give me the BS. Yeah, boy, yeah, boy, give me the BS, BS. Yeah, boy. guitar someone got a phrase for me what's gonna work here make it have bass in it and boy in it I can say those two words correctly Slapping the bass. <laughs> Need more interest in this intro too. Yeah, boy, I can make the BS. Mm. <laughs> the problem is we ain't, we're not slapping the BS. Boy, I was... Slapping the BS, boy. We slapping the BS, boy. We slapping the BS, boy. We slapping, we slapping the BS, boy. Let's try it. Um, I have an open track here. Somebody slapping the bass. <laughs> Switch out my inputs again. Maybe I can just do it on my main mic. We're slapping. <laughs> We're not slapping the bass. Ain't nobody slapping the bass, boy. Bass, bass, boy. Ain't nobody. Ain't nobody. How do I say buddy? I have no idea. Hey, boy, we're slapping the bass. <laughs> we're slapping the bass, boy. White boy on the bass, boy. <laughs> I like that. White, white boy on the bass, boy. <laughs> you white boy on the bass, boy. <laughs> Come with the bass rasta. <laughs> Barim, welcome. Brahim. So what did you? What was the white boy and the bass boy? What boy and the bass boy? What boy and the bass boy? All right. It's the white boy. It's the white boy and the bass boy. Let's just get it over here with a click. It's the white boy and the best boy. 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 That's the one. It's the white boy and the best boy. I didn't get the BS, but oh well. It's the white boy and the best boy. Okay, so now. Let's get this guy quickly cleaned up. It's the white boy and the best boy. 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 
It's the white boy and the best boy. It's the white boy and the best boy. It's the white boy and the best boy. It's the white boy and the best boy. It's the white boy and the best boy. It's the white boy and the best boy. It's the white boy and the best boy. It's the white boy and the best boy. Yeah, my god. It's the white boy and the best boy. It's the white boy and the best boy. How many times you guys want to hear this? It's the white boy and the best boy. 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 Maybe we should make a space for it. It's maybe like. Oopsie. Okay, a ranger track. Fine. I'll do it. Black boy, I'm the best boy. So, but should we have a gap? Should we go like something like this? Ooh. It's the white boy and the best boy. <laughs> you know, or should it be like part of that? It's the white boy and the best boy. You know what I mean? Or should it just be part of the thing? It's the white boy and the best boy. Um, it's the white boy and the best boy. If you put it up front, bar 8.5 and put delay echo on, boy. Oh yeah, that could be cool actually. So you're thinking Thomas like putting it here. It's the white boy. It's the white boy. It's the white boy on the best boy. The white boy on the It's the white boy on the best boy. It's the white boy on the Oh my god, where is it supposed to go? It's the white boy on the best boy. 
It's the white boy on the big boy. Yeah, I think what I'll do is keep it where it was. And then let's just get the bass to go boom. How fast can you work? Decently fast. So this is going to be... And then pitch bend. It's the white boy on the big boy. It's the white boy on the big boy. So then let's see if we can just bounce this, fade it so it's not so abrupt. Maybe even put it like this and do this. It's the white boy on the big boy. Maybe even put it on the snare. No. It's the white boy on the big boy. Then we just need some like. What if I just search atmosphere? Do I get something? This might actually work. It's the white boy on the big boy. It's the white. It's the white boy on the big. It's the white boy on the big boy. It's the white boy on the weird pitch. It's the white boy on the big boy. It's the white boy on the big boy. It's the white boy on the big boy. This thing's not nearly hype enough. It's the white boy on the big boy. It's the white boy on the big boy. Delay on that last snare, yeah, good idea. It's the white boy on the big boy. It's the white boy on the big boy. What drum is this? Leslie, hey, welcome. Need some sweet horns to help kick in. Horns would be a great idea, actually. This is just an impact preset, Leslie, that I've uh, mixed and modified a little bit. It's the white boy on the big boy. I don't know if we have horns that are gonna work. Let's just quickly try it. I have my more advanced <laughs> Sonus horns. But do we have anything like this is going to be orchestral sounding horns, isn't it? <laughs> it's the white boy on the big boy. 
It's the white boy and the big boy. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Good suggestion. Super MIDI sounding, but <laughs> it'll do. We try to put a small little room on here. Just like that. Phases them like crazy. Now, can we just like duplicate this complete? Um, and then this will be trying to get them stereo.
Okay, I would like to work much more on this, but I don't want to go too much longer, so I'm just going to keep it as is. get a multiband on these voices. Thanks everybody. I'm glad that you like it. Um... It's the white boy on the bed. It's the... Give me one sec. This is gonna be good, I think. <laughs> oh, that was the wrong place to put that. that you guys like it. I'm honestly not that satisfied with it myself, but I got a time limit. I want more interest here. This needs to be more height, more building. It needs to be fatter. Yeah, I mean, I think that'll do it. All right. Thanks, everybody. Let's get into the listening. I'm a fan of abrupt endings. Yeah, me too. This abrupt, though, not quite sure. Um, double the rhythm, you mean like the offbeat? It's being doubled by an organ right now. We could just throw it onto the piano as well, because you know. It's actually good. Sick. 
This is not not at all what I plan to do today. Um, I mean, it's close. It's part of what I wanted to do, but music takes a long time to make, man. I wanted to get to this other sound. Woo! This other sound is just where it's at. I'm just going to play it for you briefly. Uh, the actual track. Be kind to me, YouTube. So far, I've been okay with the... Um, whatever it's called, the copyright stuff. It just kind of like blocks it in like Cuba and Korea or something. I don't know why, but um, let me just play you this bit of this track quick. What's it called? You guys know Knife Party? <laughs> what a name for a group, hey? Knife Party does dubstep. They did dubstep stuff. Um, but they had this one part of this one song that is like my favorite reggae, modern, electro reggae vibe, and then it just disappears, unfortunately. But I will play you a little bit of it. Hopefully you can hear this. If I output this to here. So check this out. I think this is the one. Way faster tempo. goes into dubstep but <laughs> that part's sick and what I wanted to do was take this like um acoustic sounding the song is called uh give it up by knife party I wanted to take this acoustic sounding part of my track and then I was gonna go and then get into that thing but another day so on to, um, on to the listening sesh. So we got a decent amount of uploads today. We've got um, 15, 15 tracks, wow. So let's just get into it. I'm gonna go backwards from the top. Maybe on the next chill stream I can do that. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's just in my head. <laughs> All right. Um, first one. If you guys are new, by the way, this the whole thing I'm doing today is a challenge that comes from my Discord. The Discord, there's a link in the description of this video if you want to join. It's a community thing, chat thing, and then we have a weekly production challenge that we do every week, and this is mine. Remix your reggae track. Yeah, next challenge. So this is DJ Vivaldi. I think he's up in the chat still. Five Islands, it's called. I'm stoked to hear everybody's entries here. Let's check it out. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you, DJ Vivaldi. Very cool. You are the dubstep vibe already. Mm. No bass, though. Where'd the bass at? Also, we have a limit, by the way, just so you know, DJ, for a minute and a half. This was two minutes long, you know. But great. Thank you. T. Henricus. Thomas. Sonic Jazz Sorcery stream. <laughs> Sonic Jazz Sorcery. Let's do it. Oh, stream. Huh. <laughs> nice. Captured the old school vibe for sure. I was a bit confused with the rhythm sometimes. It was like swinging and not swinging at the same time, which some people are really into that. It just breaks my brain for some reason, but I really dig the sound choice. Nice work. This is Stranger. I think it's reggae it's called. Nice work, stranger. That was fun. <laughs> Next up, we got Robin with Space Dragon. Oh, Space Dragon. Jeez. I want to hear this.
Okay, that was dope, Robin. Nice work. Really well done. I'm gonna keep my smoking habits to myself, Mr. E. <laughs> and also the challenge, the next challenge is gonna be posted tomorrow in the Discord. So if you wanna see what it is, it's not gonna be reggae, I'll tell you that much. It's gonna post it tomorrow in the Discord. Next up, we got Q. Q to Godfather. <laughs> the track's called Don't Laugh, reggae type beat. <laughs> reggae type, let's check it out. Sorry you said don't laugh. That was great, Q. All I need is the drum beat on. But if all the other elements were great. Not gonna hate on the drums too much. They were pretty cool, but it wasn't, wasn't quite reggae drums. That was dope. Moving on. We got Peterson, Agent Pete, Ionian Bay. <laughs> That's the place I wanna live. Ah, maybe not. Maybe not Ionian Bay. Maybe Lydian Bay. Dorian Bay. Ooh, Dorian Bay. Come on. It's Dorian Bay. Anyway. Hey, speaking of steel drums. <laughs> that was dope. <laughs> Thanks, Agent Pete. Really chill. Island vibes. Shout out to Nick for Locrian Bay is where all the shipwrecks happen. Big up on the music theory jokes. <laughs> Next up, we got Patrick. Out of dubstep, it's called. All right. Sorry, the 
step into the room. It's just the noise a little bit. Bless it. <laughs> Danger man rhythm. Yes, very nice. Uh, certainly very rhythmical. <laughs> hey, the job! Well, that's, that's very kind, but... Um, Smile up yourself! Well, I guess one puff can't do any harm, can it? <laughs> <laughs> Love one another! Like sister and brother! <laughs> That's hilarious. Look at the Beatles in there. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that was Patrick. Nice work, Patrick. That was fantastic. Oh, man. Next up, we got Nick. Nick with Flash is Cool. Freddy told me everybody's a fly a DJ spinning I said my my Flash is fast Flash is cool Francois say pa Flash ain't no do Nick. That was great. Nice work. It was grooving still. I want more of that. That was dope. Wow. Next up, we got Megan, pig now named True the Fire. <laughs> True the Fire. <laughs> Let's check it out. Megan always on the harmonies, banging. Got the beat going on too, though, and that thing, the start you got, I needed that sample. Wow, okay. Next up, we got Kim. Calm down, my friend. Kim, you're not here today, Kim, are you? Or are you just chilling? Here we go. Ooh.
Ooh, nice one, Kim. And welcome. <laughs> that was dope. Sip your guitar is out of tune at the start. You know, just saying. Next up, we got Ian. I am Ian. Yardman Ting, it's called. That's yard, as in my front yard. My front yard man ting. All right. always very nice wow so many good ones today holy moly now we got shamkra lazy day in montego bay Ooh. impressed with that track with all the tracks man I feel like everyone's just leveling up <laughs> sounds amazing nice work Shamkra hey Patrick welcome we listened to yours it was wonderful <laughs> we loved it next up we got Mautar Digimau this is called Kingston Blues
<laughs> wow. Another dope one. God. They're all so good. Mm, wow. Okay. Diamond Samurai. Reggae. Diamond Samurai. Have you entered before Diamond Samurai? Last week, maybe? Maybe not. Oh, you don't have stream in your thing. I'm not going to play it. <laughs> um, if you're here, Diamond Samurai, and you want it played, you can tell me. Otherwise, um, we're skipping you for now. C. Dell, last one of the day. Drifting away. Let's check it out. Nice one, C. Dell. That was great. Wonderful. Got to work on those export settings. Turn up your MP3 to 320. That's the problem. That's why it sounds that way. Great otherwise. Oh, man. Nice work, everybody. Clap. Hella claps. Here's my track once more. I'm ashamed now. I'm honestly ashamed of this track compared to what I was been hearing. Jeez. I can tell you I came in under the under the time limit. <laughs> How long was that? Like 30 seconds? <laughs> dope, dope, sick, hella swag, bruh. That was fun, guys. Thanks. Thanks for participating. If you want to participate, please join the Discord. How many times we got to say it? You guys are probably all in the Discord already. The link's in the description. And um, yeah, we're going to have a new challenge tomorrow. It's not going to be reggae. It's not going to be anything even similar to reggae. And um, last week's, last week we did hold music, like, can I put you on hold please music? And we didn't get enough votes, I'll tell you that much. I mean, we got, we got decent votes after I asked for some more, but please vote. We're going to vote on these too. I'm going to announce the winners of last week. And if you haven't heard them, please go check them out. There was some fantastic, hilarious entries from last week. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, yeah. So appreciate you all being here. I'm going to see you in the Discord for the voting and chilling. I'm going to be back on Thursday at 7 p.m. Pacific time for another stream. It's going to be a personal music stream, just hanging out, making beats. Maybe I'll work on this reggae vibe, see if I can get that electronic reggae thing down. Ooh, that electronic reggae thing. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Where is that thing? Is it right here? One more time. Yeah, so I'm going to try, try to do something like that maybe on Thursday. We'll see. That thing just gets me going, man. Holy crap. Anyways, 
Thanks, guys. I really appreciate you participating. That was um, hilarious and fun and awesome. And yeah, I'll see you all very soon. Have a great rest of your day.